Minecraft YouTubers come and go. Some grow out of the game, and some switch games as their interest dies down. Many YouTubers have remained with Minecraft for a very long time, still producing incredible content for their viewers to enjoy. While on YouTube, over the course of many years and hundreds of videos, famous YouTubers leave behind a legacy, reshaping the Minecraft video landscape in one form or another. However, three men, and one in particular, were able to reshape the Minecraft creator terrain on YouTube in the mere span of one year with just over 100 videos, with each one going viral, going from 1k subscribers to 100k in two days, and 1k to 5 million in one year. This is the story of Dream and the Dream Team, and how they created a content empire, conquering the Minecraft scene on YouTube, and changing it forever, for the better. Our story begins with Dream, the mastermind, and arguably the most influential of the trio. While I want to give respect to all three members, in my opinion, Dream was unarguably the catalyst of the entire Minecraft movement led by the Dream Team. While George and Sapnap's personalities intertwine perfectly with Dreams to create more dynamic and entertaining content, he has seen the most success, and for good reason too. Dream revolutionized a new style of content, one that would going to be adopted by many as time goes on. But he didn't start this way. Dream began as a trapping channel, hence his old URL, Dream Traps. However, just recently he actually changed his URL to Dream with two M's, but that's besides the point. While Dream did begin his YouTube career with trapping, he ended up privating his old videos to give the sense that he had rebranded and is a changed person now. I myself have my first three videos private, but my old videos are still out there, as a testament to my past and a little time capsule for people to look through if they are interested. That being said, there is no right or wrong answer when it comes to privating old videos. You can if you want, but you don't have to. While the channel was created in 2014, I'm not sure when exactly he began uploading, but around January of 2017, Dream hit 1,000 subscribers. He peaked in March with 1,200 subscribers, and then his sub count began dropping. It's probably around this time that he began to private his old videos, thus his attention and followers began dwindling. This continued for around 8 months, and Dream reached an all new low with around 1100 subscribers. But during this time period, he wasn't idle at all. In fact, he was biding his time, studying the YouTube algorithm as well as many other creators, waiting for a breakthrough and planning his next move. Then, suddenly, he spiked going from gaining 3 subscribers in June of 2019 to 50,000 in July. This is because of a small mini-series focusing on PewDiePie. At the time, Minecraft was experiencing a massive surge in rediscovery and popularity. PewDiePie himself was capitalizing on the trend and began a Minecraft Let's Play. During his earlier playthroughs, he kept the seat of his Minecraft world private, but with the help of a large and very intelligent team, Dream was able to discover the seed and spread it. These videos took off, and Dream's channel experienced a tidal wave of new viewers. Through clever and creative video ideas, Dream was able to maintain his growth, reaching right around 200,000 subscribers in October of that year. Extremely impressive, and very well earned. This is where we first see signs of the Dream we know and love today. While all of his videos in the past had done extremely well, this was Dream's first attempt at a new style of content, featuring his two friends, George Not Found and Sapnap. This new genre would come to be known as Minecraft Butts, and it can be argued that Dream pioneered this style of content. While it was around before then, Dream's spin made it into what it was today. This brings us to one of the factors of the Dream Team's success. Before Dream completely focused on YouTube, he worked under Bad Boy Halo from NGMC, and would occasionally code plugins and mods for Skeppy. His job as a Java coder, as well as George's experience in the same field, enabled the duo to create unique and creative plugins that the normal YouTuber wouldn't be able to make without third-party assistance. But what about the video itself? Any genius can make the best Minecraft plugin, but without an entertaining video, it's really nothing on YouTube. But of course, as we all know, the video is extremely well done and extremely entertaining. You can find many aspects of it that are still relevant in Dream's current videos. One notable feature is the famous and memed use of the YouTube analytics, reminding Dream's viewers to subscribe, even with a pinned comment as well this time. While this can be viewed as desperate, I beg to differ, and I think it's a non-forceful way to remind the viewers that if they enjoy the video, they should subscribe. And this is where the next bit of genius comes in. The keyword is, if they enjoyed the video and Dream did everything in his power to ensure that. 
and boy did he deliver. Another reason the Dream Team did so well is because of the great dynamic these three friends and sometimes bad have with each other. They all have unique personalities and all bring something of great value to the table. Dream is undoubtedly the mastermind, cunning and very entertaining. George has perhaps one of the most memorable and outstanding personalities of any creator and the way he syncs with Dream is beyond entertaining and lovely. Finally, Sapnap in my opinion is perhaps the most balanced one, excelling in every aspect. He's entertaining, relatable, funny, and definitely very talented at the game. Like if this was one of those power display shapes, Sapnap's power would just be a smaller version of the original shapes. He is good at everything. It was also around this time in November that George uploaded his first collab with Dream onto his own channel. While this is far from his first video, it marks the start of his new style of content and his reign over the YouTube scene with Dream and Sapnap. With just over 30 videos, George would be able to grow from 10k to 1 million in the span of 7 months. Similarly, with only 4 challenge videos to his name, Sapnap would also be able to grow to 340,000 subscribers extremely rapidly, and I'm sure that's outdated by now. I would claim that while all 3 Dream Team members are very very entertaining on their own, they definitely wouldn't have found as much success if they hadn't worked together. Fast forward a couple of months, and everything changed yet again. The Dream Team was once more about to change the YouTube meta. On December 26th of 2019, Dream released the first ever Minecraft Manhunt. Right away, you can recognize the signature Dream Team style spreading across all their challenges, an introduction to what the video would be about, and a brief reminder to subscribe. Then Dream completely delivers video-wise. An original concept never before seen, supported by three key elements. Element 1, Atmosphere. Dream creates an engaging atmosphere using very well done music cues. While the following clip isn't actually from a manhunt, it's still a great example from the speedrun world record video. Too bad, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it, dude, on this next one. I think I'm going to miss it barely. Please come down. I wish I had like a few arrows left. Just be careful not to look at any end of them. Yeah. Should I kill one for a pearl? I don't think so. Maybe the if it's gonna come down for a one. while and you can easy, easily get one. It's gonna be done. No, it's not. Come on, 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 come on! Get down! It's going down. Okay. Where most speedrunners would just let the video play, Dream creates a more tangible atmosphere for his viewers by adding specially catered music and audio tracks. In all of his videos, the viewing experience is heightened by the clever use of musical cues and background. Another element that made the manhunt so good was George. George, as I said, has a very memorable and enjoyable personality, one of the most, dare I say. With someone else, the video definitely would not have been as entertaining, but George just makes it so much more special. Finally, another key element of Dream's manhunt was his skill at the game. Undeniable skill. While he did improve over time, it is undeniable that even then, Dream was extremely shrewd and his plays and highlights prove it. Just search Dream High Q Montage on YouTube and you'll see it for yourself. One of the reasons Dream is so fun to watch is because he's smart. He knows what he's doing and he's doing it well in a very entertaining manner. After the initial video success, Dream continued to pump out manhunts peaking once again around February 2nd, 2020, where he brought to light a slightly modified idea first introduced by the YouTuber Seth Bling a couple of years ago. Dream's original spin on the classic death swap game proved to be very entertaining, of course, and once again sparked a revolution of death swap related content. His next peak was when he introduced more hunters into his videos, finally resulting in the wildly successful Minecraft Speedrunner vs 3 Hunters saga which is still being uploaded to this day. Because of the uproar and huge demand for Dream's content, you can find so many other people hopping aboard the bandwagon, speedrunning in Minecraft, whether it be plain speedrunning, or speedrunner versus something, or even redstone speedrunning, has taken YouTube by storm, 
and shows little signs of dying at any time soon, once again displaying the huge and immense widespread influence that the Dream Team has on YouTube. It is clear from all of this that Dream did his research, and the Dream Team's videos are a perfect example of content done right. The videos are an excellent mix of enjoyable personalities, genius, originality, creativity, and fitting music and atmosphere, all tying together to form extremely entertaining content. Through such well-engineered videos, coupled with lovable personalities, I cannot stress that enough, these guys are awesome. The Dream Team was able to take over YouTube within a very short period of time across a very small amount of videos. Changing the YouTube landscape wherever they choose to go, bringing new revolutionary ideas into the spotlight, and dragging back and modernizing old ones. These three legends show no signs of dying out anytime soon, and I'm sure I speak for all of us when I say I am more than excited to see what they will do next. But that's all I have to offer today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have made it to the end, I really do appreciate it. And I would really appreciate it more if you could subscribe. That would mean the world to me. But thank you all so much for again for watching. I'll see you all next time. And peace out. Thank you so much.